John Petro here. Just wanted to tell you a little bit about my display. And if you notice here, I've got a map of 1877 of Liberty Township and Waltz Township. And what Larry Kendall, a good friend of mine, and I do, we take the metal detectors and the map, and we go out and pinpoint where an old home site was at in the farm fields and get permission to run the metal detectors in the fields. And this is some of the stuff that we've we've collected over the past years. We got large pennies, 1828. We've got Canadian dimes, 1858. Uh, porcelain doll parts. You name it, whatever our ancestors have lost or broken and dropped, that's where it's at. A lot of it averages from on top of the ground to four inches deep to six inches deep. All depends how soft the soil is. Also, we find a lot of Indian artifacts when we're doing that. Found a couple of nice celts out here just about a half a mile from town. And normally, any old home site that we find, we'll find usually an Indian arrowhead, stone artifact. For some reason, I have no idea. Here's a lot of the items that I like to find is an old bell off of a Hames. And if you notice it, you can hear the noise, and it's a metal clacker inside, and it's brass on the, in, on the outside. But if you clean the dirt out of them, most all of those still have a little clink to it. And I've been doing this for about 40 years, and I've never found a gold coin yet. I'm still looking for it. But uh, we can find silver dollars. There's an 1884. Glass buttons. Uh, store tokens just a lot of not so many coins as we do buttons and marbles we found Chinese marbles Indian game balls just a little bit of everything and it's kind of like a mini archaeology archaeological I suppose hobby I reckon and there's a, a German swirl marble and a lot of this stuff you'll find on top of the ground because uh, first inclination that an old home site was in the field is you'll see a raise in the field and if you look on that that rise in that field you see a, a piece of brick or some glass look around because 90 percent of the time there's an old home site there and it's just a, a hobby for us something to keep us busy and a little bit of history